Adam here with Wholesale Septic Supply. What we're gonna show you today is, this is a float switch, this is clear inside. Rhombus sent this to me, and uh, this shows how it works. So when the, when the switch is down, okay, uh, the, the contacts, as you can see, aren't touching. So as the water rises in your tank, the, the flow goes up, and then the ball eventually falls, and bam, it hits a switch. So then you got contact, and your pump will be running. So, and then as it comes down, as the water level comes down, the ball will eventually fall and it'll turn off, okay? So this is a very accurate way to do it. Uh, mercuries are a little more sensitive. So as you can see, the ball actually, you know, the switch got to come up quite a bit before it goes on. Mercuries tend to, uh, uh, they're real sensitive because it's a liquid. And uh, if there's any kind of movement in the tank, you can get chatter and it'll cycle the pump on and off, on and off. So we prefer a, a mechanical float switch. Some states you have to use a mechanical. Mercury's illegal to use Louisiana, Illinois. Uh, I don't think Florida's outlawed them, but um, that's pretty much it. So on, off. So that's, uh, that's how a float switch works. You guys have any questions uh, you can comment below and we'll answer them but uh, just thought I'd show you that and then show you the inside that's what it looks like inside so that's a mechanical float switch that's how they work all right hope you have a good day and this is Adam with wholesale septic you need float switches go to wholesale septic supply.com and uh, we got them for you bye